Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a really cool little lesson for you guys. This is a cool little trick where you take easy beginner chords that you already know and move those shapes up and down the neck to create some really cool sounding chord substitutes that we can do in place of some basic shapes. This is used by a ton of really famous players and I'll show you guys some examples uh, after I show you the tricks. The first one, let's just take a D chord basic D. If we move this shape up to the seventh fret, so seven, eight, seven, that chord's a G, which can substitute easily for this G at any time. So D, seventh fret is G. Move it up to the ninth fret, so nine, ten, nine. And that little shape is an A, which could substitute for our regular A down here. Same chord. So check it out. D, slide it up to the 7. G, slide it up to the 9. It's an A. You've heard this in a lot of Led Zeppelin tunes, like uh, the third section to Over the Hills and Far Away, right? Instead of just staying on G and A down here, he'll substitute the G and A up here. If we take this regular D chord and move it to the fifth fret, five, six, five, but we keep these open strings underneath, that actually makes a D minor seven chord. You can also take the high note off and play open E on the top. That gives you a D minor nine, great sound. Kind of rich, uh, a little bit cooler than just playing a normal D minor. Sounds sort of plain. This chord is rich, creepy, mysterious. Great example of that is in the intro to Old Man by Neil Young. Starts off on a D major. Just switching those two chords that sounds so cool okay so you can't do this with all the open chords you might know but there are some really common examples other than d as well uh the next one would be like c major a really cool idea with this shape is sliding up two frets so that we're on the five four three and playing the open strings around it probably wouldn't we probably wouldn't play the low e but Okay, so that chord is a beautiful substitute for a regular D major. So C, D. Oftentimes this leads back to a C or down to a G chord. So like. That chord sounds so lush and beautiful. I actually just started calling that the John Mayer chord. Because uh, I think he uses that in the tune Love on the Weekends. Which the progression goes D, C, G. How many tunes do you know with D, C, and G in them? A ton, right? So check this out. Instead of just playing D, C, G. Like that sounds fine. But what happens if we switch this D? to this D. Okay, so check it out. Uh, Hendrix used it a lot. Voodoo Child is a good example of that. Uh, he uses it leading down to the E, right? So it'd be like... He also uses that shape in Little Wing at the end of the form, right? C. P 
pretty cool substitute for uh, regular D. Uh, you can also do a, a similar idea from an A minor shape. Here's our normal A minor. Common place to switch that is up to the sixth fret, so seven, seven, six. That's another voicing for D minor nine from the Neil Young tune. A minor, D minor nine. And you could slide it two more frets up from there and get a cool sounding E minor. So check it out, A minor, D minor, E minor. That's like the chorus part on Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, another great Led Zeppelin song. If you just move the A minor up two frets, you get a sub for B minor. I usually think of that little lick as just kind of an embellishment of the A minor. Say you have uh, several measures in a row of A minor, um, we might add that little slide up to the B minor as just a little embellishment at the end of the four bars or something leading back to the A minor. So maybe like this. I'm still thinking of that as all kind of A minor sound. And last but not least, we can use a similar idea on the E major shape. Just like we did with the A minor, we could take this shape and move it up to the 7, 7, 6. Get a cool sub for an A major. And two more frets up, that's a cool sub for a B major. That sounds so cool and it's so easy. These are just a couple examples of this. It's something really fun that you can mess around with. You can try taking these shapes and moving them to other frets. It's really fun to experiment, maybe just by changing one or two notes, kind of like in the Neil Young example where he just lifted off that one note and it made it extra cool. Sometimes we'll switch like, for instance, from the E going up to 4-4-2. Four, four, kind of Almond brothers E. Or sometimes I'll play Ring Pinky. Just a nice little trick. Have some fun, experiment. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shapes are to move around the neck. If these videos are helping you out at all, please consider hitting subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace.